with more and more people looking to interact with brands that align with their values, adding a human side to your brand will help you stand out from the competition. And if you instill that into your brand's DNA, it will help your brand and your employees to express that. It also creates a sense of trust and familiarity, which is the foundation of any relationship. Now, in the book Grow by Jim Stengel, where he talked about brands that were developed with purpose, and he tracked brands over a certain period of time across all different industries and found out that brands with purpose grew three times faster than those without. And he identified five human characteristics that you can align your brand to in order to create this purpose-fueled brand that helps to align with your audience and connect with them. And here are five iconic brands that express their humanity through one of each of these five human values as outlined by Jim Stengel in the book Grow. Number one, eliciting joy. Now, is there anybody better placed to elicit joy than Disney? The happiest place on earth, a brand that transcends generations and keeps conjuring up magical moments at every turn. In order to align your brand with the value of eliciting joy, what you wanna do is take some of what Disney's magic is and use that with your brand. So can you create a magical experience for your brand? Can you create those little moments that people remember for a lifetime? Can you make people laugh, enjoy themselves, have fun, and build an experience to remember. Number two, enabling connection. A great example of this is Harley Davidson and their attitude of just screw it, let's ride. And since the 1980s, they've been building a community of Harley owners and they've created a group for those owners. And it's a home for those fans the world over to connect, ride and rally. And it's bringing all those Harley Davidson owners together so they can feel part of a bigger community. And for some, the Harley brand is so important to them and who they are, they actually have it tattooed on their body. So if you wanna be able to copy the blueprint of Harley Davidson with regards to creating connection, enabling connection, think about building communities, think about ways to create those shared values, those shared ideals, get rallied behind them and create communities that can support that purpose, that ideal, that cause. So build ways for them to connect, build places for them to, to congregate together, create things like VIP clubs, loyalty schemes, all these kind of things can help to enable connection as part of a members club of people that are like-minded that love your brand. Hit that like button if you like the video so far and comment below, who is your favorite brand, your most, the most iconic brand that you can think of that you go back to time and time again? Let us know in the comments below. Number three, inspiring exploration. The North Face's attitude of never stop exploring and as they put it, exploration is their oxygen. They've continually pushed the idea of exploration and pushing yourself as far as you can go and seeing what's out there and see how far you can take yourself. Since 1966, the brand has pushed the limits of human potential and laid the path for discovery. The brand also created the Exploration Fund with the aim to conserve, encourage diversity and remove barriers to outdoor learning and creation. If you want your brand to inspire exploration, think about taking your audience on a journey. Think about painting the world for them as a path that is open for them to travel, to learn, to grow, to discover, and take them on that journey with you. And you will encourage people with shared values to join in with what you're doing as a brand. Number four, evoking pride. Now Fenty Beauty was created in 2017 by Rihanna and they believe in beauty for all. Fenty Beauty is about creative self-expression and celebrating everybody's individual unique beauty. The brand is so inclusive, they have over 50 shades of foundation and concealer across all skin types. In their first month, the brand completely changed the beauty landscape with sales over 72 million. And in the UK, it was Harvey Nichols' biggest ever beauty launch. And today, Fenty Beauty is worth 2.8 billion. So if you wanna follow the blueprint of Fenty Beauty, and help your audience to evoke pride in themselves. Make them feel special, make them feel unique, celebrate that uniqueness and show them how to be the best version of themselves they can be, but also to appreciate who they already are. Five, impacting society. You can't talk about a brand impacting society without thinking about Tom shoes. Buy a pair, give a pair. For the LA based shoe brand, every purchase had a purpose. Using a simple one for one model, Tom's has donated over 95 million pairs of shoes to children in need. The brand also releases a yearly report that shows the impact they've had across the planet and the three Ps, purpose, planet, and 
different people. If you want to do a similar thing to Tom Shoes with regards to impacting society, you can choose big causes or you can choose smaller causes that affect yourself, your industry, your particular business can get behind. It doesn't have to be the big causes that you get behind. You can do those, but it can also be small ones in your industry that might make a massive difference for the people in your ecosystem. And sometimes we can sort of get taken aback a bit by the, the thought that we have to do something huge with regards to brand purpose or CSR and, and these kind of things. And that's important. But sometimes the small changes that you can make can have a massive ripple effect in your industry, in your local town, in your local community. So doing those things with your brand can really help and really get behind some of those things and it can really have an impact on society. So now you've got some understanding about how you can humanize your brand in order to make it more magnetic for your audience. It might be time to think about where your brand actually is at the moment. So we actually have a brand assessment, which takes about four minutes and it goes through a process of asking some questions and it will give you a brand alignment score at the end of that assessment. So I'll put a link for that in the description below. If you've enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more, please remember to like this video and subscribe using the button below. Videos come out weekly and they're designed to help you unlock your brand's potential so you can stand up from the competition and create more impact. Have a great week, catch up soon and keep those brands unified.